After the funeral, the family who are mourning go back to the home and they have a mourner's meal that's prepared for them, which often has round foods like bagels or a round egg to show the cycle of life. And they're encouraged to eat because we need to affirm their life. The first part up to the funeral was about the person who's died and now it's about the mourners and their mourning and their sadness and their bereavement. And then we have a week of Shiva, literally coming from the word Sheva, meaning seven. And I would really encourage people to take as much time as possible. It's a time to be at home. It's a time for the mourners who sit on low chairs to greet people or not to. If you want to be quiet, you don't have to make conversation, you're not responsible for that. And if you're visiting someone in a mourner's home, you can just ask general questions. If you didn't know the person, what were they like? Or to share memories is a wonderful gift. But if the person wants to be quiet, there's no responsibility to make a conversation or to make them feel better because sometimes feeling better might just to be inside the pain, and sometimes it might be laughter. It might be hysterical laughter when you tell stories about the person who died. Often there, there are prayers, and some people have them three times a day, and many people have them only in the evening. And again, I would encourage, if you have you know, the weeks of Shiva, to spend a week, to have three, four nights prayers where people come, and again, you have the choice, as well as praying, the evening prayer and the memorial prayer of talking about the person who died. It can be a difficult time with families together, but it can also be a wonderful transformation time. We are here to look after the people who are mourning. We cover the mirrors in the house, and so that you're not aware of yourself in that physical, vain way, really and we light a yacht site, a memorial candle for the week. And at the end of that week, you stand up from your mourning and go out from your house to the next stage of mourning as you come back into the world.